Hey everybody, welcome to Professor Long's Lectures in Anatomy and Physiology. I'm Professor Bob Long. You're not going to be seeing me in this video, but I have a face made for radio anyway. Um, I'm showing you the muscles of the legs today, and I'm going to show you all of the muscles of the leg. I'm going to move this around a little bit. I'm going to try to keep the movement to a minimum. So now, you can see that we are on the inside or the medial border of the leg. You can tell that if I look down here at the foot, this is the big toe. And you see the little toe, called the great toe, and the little toe, okay? Now, um, I'm going to try to zoom in and manipulate the model so that we can see a little bit better view of the muscles of the upper thigh. I'm going to start on the inside of the leg. Now, if you're following our list of things to know, the list of things to know does not show the muscles exactly like this. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and tilt the camera so that I can focus really on the muscles of the thigh, okay? So pardon all my hands in the way, pardon all this video stuff, but I'm really trying to show you this stuff is the best way that you can see it, okay? So now, this is all kind of done impromptu. We're looking at the inside of the thigh. I don't cover the muscles in the exact same order that they are on the list. I like to put things in order and let my fingers do the walking. So once I find one muscle, I can literally walk my way around in this order. So you might want to take the muscles off of your list and rewrite them in the order that makes sense to your brain. So I'm going to start here. Again, this is the kneecap, or the patella. We can see the quadriceps muscles. I'm going to start on the inside of the thigh. Now this first muscle I'm about to name is not going to be the one that I start with, but it's going to be one that I want to get across first because it goes straight down the middle of the thigh. That is called the gracilis muscle. Gracilis. Now if I start one muscle behind it, this muscle right here is called the adductor magnus. To adduct means to bring together. And so the adductor magnus is going to be this muscle that helps adduct your leg. And it's massive, but it's covered by all of these other muscles. So this is the adductor magnus. This is the gracilis. This muscle here is called the adductor longus. It goes all the way down to the inside of the knee. So that's adductor longus. Adductor magnus, gracilis, adductor longus. And if I rotate to the front of the leg, this muscle that starts out here and wraps all the way to the inside of the knee is called the sartorius muscle. So adductor magnus, gracilis, adductor longus, sartorius, adductor magnus, Gracilis adductor longus sartorius. If I rotate to the front of the leg, then I can see the quadriceps muscles. I see three of the four quadriceps muscles here. This one that runs straight up and down the femur and even has the patellar tendon that runs over the patella is called the rectus femoris muscle. That's the rectus femoris. Since the big toe and medial is on this side, this teardrop shaped muscle it's called the vastus medialis, since it's medial. This large muscle here is called the vastus lateralis. Those are three of your quadriceps muscles. Again, quattro from four. Rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. There is a muscle, if I could reflect this, that would lie deep to the rectus femoris called the vastus intermedius. Intermediate means in between, and that would be that muscle in between the, lateral, the, the medialis and the lateralis. Those four muscles make up the quadriceps. Rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and the vastus intermedius would be deep to this. Now, if I go down further or go around further here, I see this long piece of connective tissue that goes from the iliac bone all the way down to the outside of the tibia. In front of that is this small muscle here that tenses up this piece of connective tissue. That piece of connective tissue is referred to as the tensor fascia lati because it tenses, this muscle is the tensor fascia lati, I should say, because this muscle is called the, <coughs> excuse me, this is the tensor fascia lati, the iliotibial tract is this long piece of connective tissue. That long piece of connective tissue is also called the iliotibial band. So you'll see that used a lot of time in physical therapy. Or it's also called a lateral fascia, a flat tendon that's lateral. 
So the lateral fascia, the iliotibial tract or iliotibial band. Of course, you need to learn it the way that it's on the list. Since this muscle tenses this lateral fascia, this muscle is called the tensor fascia lati, the iliotibial tract, and then the gluteus maximus. If I remove the gluteus maximus, and on some of the models, these are glued on, underneath it would be the gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus. Now, notice the tip of the gluteus maximus inserts under, between these two muscles. If I could cut this fascia and remove it, all of this muscle underneath would be the vastus lateralis. So this is also part of the vastus lateralis, okay? Now, when I go to the back of the leg, there's three muscles here that go from the buttocks to the lower leg called the hamstrings. The three hamstring muscles would be this one. The one that's most lateral as the gluteus maximus comes down here is called the rectus, I'm sorry, it's called the biceps femoris. And if we could remove the gluteus maximus, you would see it has two heads here. So that's the biceps femoris. There are two muscles here, one on top and then one on bottom that barely sticks out a little bit. This muscle on top is called the semitendinosus. And then this little piece of muscle here and right on this edge here is called the semimembranosus. It's really one large muscle that this muscle is covering. And if I cut the semitendinosus and reflected it, I would see semimembranosus running all the way across. So at the back of the leg, we have the gluteus maximus, biceps femoris, semitendinosus on top of the semimembranosus. If I roll back over, I'm back where I began. Adductor magnus, gracilis, adductor longus, sartorius, rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, and of course deep to this would be the vastus intermedius. I have the tensor fascia lati, the iliotibial tract, the gluteus maximus, rectus femoris, semitendinosus, semimembranosus. Now if I go to the lower leg, let me make sure this is focused in the, the field of view. If I go to the lower leg and I rotate it to where I'm anterior here, this would be the great toe or large toe. That's the little toe. This would be the tibia bone. The muscle that sits right on the front of the tibia is called the tibialis anterior. The tibialis anterior. There's one here that's also called the tibialis posterior. And that muscle, when it separates from the shin bone, can create shin splints for those of you that have them. We're not worried about that muscle, though. This is your tibialis anterior. Right next to the tibialis anterior is a muscle that comes down and extends these digits. And just like in your arm, it's called the extensor digitorum. There's a longus and a brevis. So that's the extensor digitorum longus. Next to that is a muscle that runs down here and has a long skinny tendon that's going to run right by the lateral malleolus. Since that's part of the fibula bone, this is called the fibularis longus. This one would be the fibularis brevis right here. But this muscle is the fibularis longus, also called the peroneus longus or the perineal muscle, the peroneus longus. There's a perineal nerve that runs right there. Finally, if I look from the side, I see can my calf muscle, this long piece of connective tissue or tendon, and then I see this other piece of muscle tissue that runs right underneath it. So, tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, fibularis longus. This muscle, it's kind of hard to see, but my thumbnail rides right on this little groove. And I can see this piece of muscle tissue runs all the way down to the sole of the foot. That muscle is called the soleus. If I look at the back of the calf, these two pieces of muscle tissue are called the gastrocnemius. There's a medial belly and a lateral belly, but the whole muscle is called the gastrocnemius muscle. That muscle pulls on this tendon that goes to the calcaneus, called the calcaneal tendon, the calcaneus tendon, also called the Achilles tendon from Greek mythology. That's where Achilles' mother grabbed him and dipped him in the river Styx. So that's also where he gets cut and dies. So gastrocnemius, calcaneal tendon, or Achilles tendon, and then the soleus muscle sticking out here. And the soleus runs all the way across underneath and sticks out a little bit there. Now we're onto the sole of the foot. 
And on the sole of the foot, I can see, I'm gonna to try to angle this. Let me see, make sure you guys can see what I want you to see. Yes. So, the tendon here is cut, but it would cover the entire sole of the foot. That's called the plantar fascia or the plantar aponeurosis. When people get uh, damage to that tendon, it's called plantar fasciitis. We don't call it plantar aponeurositis. So I accept plantar fascia on my lab test or plantar aponeurosis. This muscle here will flex these digits because that's the flexor digitorum. That muscle is the flexor digitorum. All right, those are all the muscles of the leg. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I hope you learned something. Practice these till you can't stand it. Practice it until you can make 100. See you later.